As the teams assess the 250 meter holding point, they'll then uh, enter the keep out sphere, a 200 meter uh, radius around the International Space Station, and start safely approaching the International Space Station. Houston, station on two, the crew is ready for Cygnus approach to capture point. Houston Station on two for Robo, we're at 15 meters. No change in Block Bravo. Copy all, Peggy. Confirmation from Peggy Woodson that Cygnus is now passing the 15 meter mark. Uh, from this camera at the end of the station's robotic arm, Cygnus coming into that capture position. The Ultraflex solar array is now coming into view. Cygnus now closing in on 13 meters away from the International Space Station. Uh, you can see clearly both solar uh, ultra flex solar arrays and the cross pins that Peggy Whitson and Tomap Pesquet aboard the International Space Station at the Cupola Workstation. Controlling the station's robotic arm, uh, you can see the three pronged crosshairs there that will guide them uh, into its uh, capture point. Robotic arm over the pin. Trigger initiated and snares closed. And snares are closed, confirmed, capture right on time, 5.05 a.m. Central Time, 6.05 a.m. Eastern. Robotics officers at the ready, Cygnus still poised uh, 47 meters away from the common berthing mechanism on the Earth-facing side of uh, the Unity module, awaiting uh, the go-ahead to start the uh, ready-to-latch uh, indicators and uh, begin first and second stage capture. And just receiving confirmation of second stage capture, uh, 16 bolts now driven and uh, berthing of the Cygnus cargo vehicle to the International Space Station is complete at uh, 7.39 a.m. Central Time, 8.39 a.m. Eastern.